Good morning. Okay, so today's story time will be about once upon a time when I was in the army. Mm. Okay, so I was in the army and one night my girlfriend called. She was like, yo, let's go to the club. I was like, eh. You know, we been over here at my house. We've been barbecuing today. I had a few drinks. I'm just going to chill out. She was like, no, nah, come on. I got you. We're going to hang out, do some dancing, and uh, we'll have a good time. I was like, all right, because I was always down for a party. Now, mind you, we lived in Germany. We lived on a concern. Um, that was, or or a station that was, had some pretty dark streets. So we went over to the club, and she kept buying drinks, 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 and I kept drinking like a dummy. Now this was supposed to be my good, good, my good girlfriend. So, if you my good girlfriend, you supposed to have my back, my army buddy, my ranger buddy. We supposed to have each other back. So, if I drink too much, you supposed to make sure I get home. If you drink too much, I made sure you got home all those times. Well, she left me in the club. And I had been drinking. Now, mind you, she had fed me all of these drinks, but it was up to me to decide to say yes or no, but I had drank and I drank a little bit too much. So she left me and didn't tell me she was leaving. Okay. So I had another girlfriend, her husband, which is like more like my god brother. He saw me and he was like, yo, you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. Well, one of my ex-husband soldiers saw that I wasn't doing well. And he was like, and I was like, where's my ride? Because I thought I had my ride there. So my girl, my, you know, my god brother, he had left. I was thinking that I had my ride there. I was like, where's my girl? And um, they were like, she's been gone. I'm like, what? She left and didn't even tell me. So my um, one of my ex-husband soldiers, he was like, yo, I can't let my boss's wife go home or go out there in the street to walk home tonight in this condition. So he put me in a car and... He drove me home to my house and he got the keys, um, asked me for my keys. I gave him my door keys. He figured out which door key it was. Well, he threw me, he threw the keys in the door and set me on the door limb and I fell face first in the house. <laughs> I was so drunk. I'm laughing now. It wasn't funny at the time, but I'm laughing now. Because I can laugh about it because nothing happened to me. Um, So he took me in the house. I fell in the house. And I, our bathroom was like right there at the door. So my ex-husband got up. He looked out, looked around. And he seen me laying on the floor on my face. He must have picked me up and threw me in the bed. And so... When I laid down in the bed, the room started spinning. I mean, the room started spinning like flying spinning. So I had to go. My ex-husband had me in the bathroom. You know, of course, I'm sick. I'm in the toilet, throwing up, praying. God, if you just get me through this, I'll never drink like this again. God, if you get me through this, I promise you I'll never do this again. Well... I made it through. The moral of this story is, first off, control your drinking. Do not let other people feed you drinks. 
Do not let other people who's supposed to have your back uh, control your situation or or give people control of your situation because that's what I did. I gave I gave that supposed to be friend control of my situation. She had given me control of her situations before and I never let her down. So always be careful of those who claim they have your back because they don't always have the best intentions in mind. Because just think about it. Had that guy not been there to get me home, I might have had to walk across the street you know, on those dark streets and me being mm, drunk, inebriated, not sober. I could have stumbled in the street, got hit by a car on those dark roads and nobody would have known about it. Anybody could have grabbed me. If that wouldn't have been one of my um, ex-husband's soldiers, suppose it would have been anybody else. They could have take physically taken advantage of me. Um, but, you know, be careful of those you hang around and those people that you call friends. Because everybody does not have your best intentions at mind or at hand. So just be careful. Make sure you make sure that you can control your drinking or whatever you do when you're out and don't give anybody else control over your situation.